Hi, I'm here with my wife Caitlin, who's going to join me for the first time in one of my videos. And Caitlin's been going through a shoulder thing of late for a good while now. It might be rotator cuff, which would most likely be supraspinatus. Could be deltoid. Could be the long head of the bicep, long head tendon of the bicep. Uh, and this exercise is actually very powerful. We're going to see how it goes. I'll show you how to do it at home if you have a partner to do it with. It takes a lot of strength on my part to do what we're going to try to do. You see how you like it, you might want to give it a try. Turn sideways, bring the hands on, interlace the fingers on top of the head. And the key is to try to get the elbows out wide. And when the arms go up, to go straight up as best you can. Stick your butt out a little bit. So I'm going to get the heel of my palm onto the outer shoulder blade. I'm going to squat to get as much strength as I can. And I take the heels of the palms and I am going to literally just press the shoulder blades into position. And they don't live here very often. And now start stretching the arms up, slow motion. Hands towards me, hands towards me. You're going to just keep going as much as you can. Keep going, keep going. This is not easy on Caitlin's arms and it ain't easy on mine. Keep going, keep going. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Go. Okay, go any further. No worries. Hands towards me. Cute. Go one half inch more. Slow motion, lower back down. <laughs> so that is, it is really intense. Um, my take on this exercise is you have a bunch of muscles here. Terry's minor. I'm always never really sure about what exactly is going on. How does that feel? Does that have more range of motion? Much more. It's great. Uh, when you take your arm out to the side, the shoulder blade is supposed to actually kind of go out and also pull back in through the rhomboids. Very often tight muscles, teres minor and a couple others, are restricting, they're overpowering the rhomboids and the shoulder blade just goes out with the arm instead of the shoulder blade being, able to pull, being pulled back on. So I am just taking the shoulder blades and putting them onto the back and not letting them wing out as they want and that's going to give a powerful stretch to muscles that never really get used or never get stretched in the way they're supposed to. Thank you so much.